Hello and welcome to another review. One of the reasons that got me back into this reviewing thing after this long break. Oh, it's over a month actually. Uh, this one and the Eternal Edge Blade, which is much better than a lot of the knife and sword DX weapons from Bandai. So you can see that video that's already uploaded onto the channel. But here we're taking a look at this Black Series Endor set. This comes out in September officially over in the West via Hasbro Post. It was supposed to be like a Comic Con exclusive because with all the events right now in 2020, there is no Comic Con or at least no, you know, like event thing where people can actually go, which is fine, I guess. And the reason I got this so early is because uh, the Hong Kong Toys R Us had like a mini Hasbro event instead of, you know, selling Comic Con stuff at Comic Con, whatever. Uh, they also sell some stuff in Hong Kong and they just put it online. I was quite lucky. I just sort of saw it. I was just like you know, looking around. I was like, oh, I wonder where I can get it in Hong Kong. And Toys R Us was like, hey, we've got some for sale. Uh, limited to one per customer. And it did cost more than what the official prices uh, that it would be in the West but uh, I still pre-ordered it because you know if I got it from the West it would be really hard to get it plus all the shipping and stuff and so now I have it here right now so uh, without further ado so in front here I've got this nice green color because I, I guess you know Empire Strikes Back is blue and Return of the Jedi always seem to be like sort of green and sort of whitish reddish color for a New Hope Heroes of Endor ages 4 plus and uh, yep, then you see that on the shine there, you got the Death Star coloring and then more of the Endor forest there. And on the back, it's just some sort of green lighting and stuff and whatever. And you see this slipcase already sliding. And this is a very messy box. So slide that up. Uh, originally, there is no tape surrounding this. This is just sort of in a big cardboard box and just wrapped around in, uh, you know, like foil or plastic or whatever. So even for people who just want to buy this for display, which is I don't know, a lot of collectors like that, you, you know, you still, you can slip that out of paper box off and you can still get this whole display thing. So on one side, we have Han and Leia next to the bunker. And you see that this thing's actually used to be taped on the side and on, on the poses there, some text down here, heroes of Endor and whatever. And we have one for Luke. By the way, uh, this hand was also on lightsaber. It's just you know, how they've been posed and tied together with other bands and stuff. And we got the speeder bike there, which uh, the Ewok's somewhere back there. Um, this is impossible to get back into the proper packaging and position after you've opened it. It's just eh, a bit messy. So here's um, how I opened it. By the way, you can you know flip them all three of them open as a really long display. So display collectors you know you're gonna love this with all the free windows and stuff which you know does look quite nice but takes a lot of space for someone living in Hong Kong that's not really possible I'm gonna keep this box just because the backgrounds are good for I guess future photo shoots and all that but otherwise um, I'm not really bothered like regular black series boxes I chuck them in the recycle bin but this one I'll probably keep and uh, any future Return of the Jedi figures I'll just you know stick them in here as storage and stuff so I cut open the back and I slide this out and if you want to slide this back in be mindful that this bit here likes to get caught on the cardboard in there so make sure that you slide the box to the outer edge so it's just underneath this extra flap and push it in because if you slide it in this way it will get caught at the end and start to damage so that's one of them out you can get this one so I can rescue Han and Leia from their carbonite suit <laughs> get that out and then, okay, so the front gets just silly. So I looked around, I was like, okay, I'm not opening it from the back because then, you know, it's too small. I won't like open it properly and stuff. And on the front here, I saw like two little tabs at the bottom. So I was like, okay, if there are tabs here, that must mean, you know, this is where I untab it and then I can open the box. But uh, no, it won't open because it only opens if these two flaps are like opened as well. So. Uh, I know collectors are like screaming at the screen like oh everything's falling apart you mess value and stuff like who cares I'm buying toys to play with not the bloody box but uh, well anyway just so you can get a better see here's the whole sort of uh, bike chase scenery in there and just rubber band tie there for only one accessory for the Ewok so uh, actually that'll do I'll just move that to the side now <laughs> Right, I'm going to start with the worst figure of the lot, which is unfortunately Luke Skywalker, because I really like Luke Skywalker. Well, I like Luke Han Leia, but I like Luke Skywalker the most out of the three. 
and and that's just unfortunate like just looking at this image this is actually still pretty cool like again for display people the forest and the way he's been posed in the box by the way all these figures have way too many tabs and rubber bands like one two like a rubber band there and then underneath the neck and the arm that's just silly because you see here without all these rubber bands he's you know he's whatever but i guess it's for shipping maybe so uh, so i'm just gonna get him out of there and he still looks pretty good with all of his gear and that's the thing his gear is hiding a lot of the issues with this figure if i just get him to stand in a standard pose he still looks you know pretty good i mean that looks like absolutely fine with this gear i'm just gonna get that lightsaber out which is made out of a very soft plastic and we're also going to start our comparisons right now so uh left hand side is the black series right hand side is the uh, sh figure lightsaber you can see that the figure lightsaber is just so much sharper more detailed more painted stuff on it and it's just overall a lot nicer with the black series stuff as always you just unpack this which is always scary when you do that the blade the handle itself is soft plastic and this is a harder material so it doesn't make it too hard to pull out both the figure arts it's actually a very soft tab there like nothing pops and it feels a lot safer to swap than the black series one and you see this like little hook there you think oh that's cool they can hang on to the belt somewhere uh, this look doesn't have any belt hook whatsoever for this lightsaber to hook onto so he's either holding it or it's gone which um, that's yeah that's aesthetically the hook is not too bad the black series lightsabers but it does get to a point where it, it is slightly on the large size so you do look at it and go hmm yeah maybe but you know the lightsaber it's fine i guess i'm just saying that the figure arts one is a lot sharper and detailed so with this uh, figure itself if you take off this helmet which does come off quite nicely this looks nothing like mark hamill at all not even the head sculpt. This looks like someone else. This looks like PS1 graphics, um, like a PS1 uh, cutscene. Luke Skywalker. This is not Mark Hamill whatsoever. This robe here is quite nice, and the belt looks quite good. The fabric is quite nice. They've stitched the hood down, so I guess you can just cut that if you want it to go over his head, which might look something like that. A bit silly, but uh, I like I like that they stitch it down because for the most part, that's how he looks in the movies. That's how you're probably going to display him, and because they stitch it down, it looks more natural. You can take it off, there's a tab on the back of this belt. So you just unpick that and then this whole thing comes off. And Jesus Christ, you're left with um, this. So I've seen some reviews and some people have mentioned that this is made out of a much older Luke Skywalker figure, maybe one of the uh, first ever releases. And Black Series used to be quite garbage, to be honest. They've improved so much these days, right, before you get mad. A lot of the new Black Series figures are amazing. For the, especially for the price you know new face prints the better sculpts and the articulation and body proportions all pretty great but uh the old ones were pretty garbage but here we have one that at least in terms of articulation there's a lot of options you've got the, you know the ball joint and the stomach area there that moves quite well you can you can uh you know stretch his legs out just a little bit but can he can sit down very easily so that's nice and uh, you know articulation wise he's not bad you know he can do a lot of poses that's fine and, you know, he could hold this lightsaber with two hands, so that's good. You can look down quite a bit, look far up a bit, but just the overall look of him is just, like, he seems a bit too skinny, doesn't look quite right, and of course, again, that's all hidden with this little hood thing. So, with this and this helmet, he looks so much better. But once again, I'm just going to bring in a very unfair comparison here of the uh, Figarts look. Usually, Figarts is a little bit on the skinny side, but even this look is not as skinny as the black series one which yeah facial likeness is still not perfect and then they've done this hair in gold which is a bit silly but under certain lighting it looks okay i'm probably going to fix that for wash at some point like make it less glossy but uh at least it's got this face print here which looks so much nicer i don't know why they didn't it must be the face sculpt they must have done face print on this new release but because the sculpt doesn't match mark hamill's face doesn't matter what you face print on it like if you face print my face onto this figure it's still not going to look bad and not look like me because i have a different head shape so at least with the figure one it looks yeah it looks way better and of course you have more belt details and stuff on him so yeah whatever so i'm thinking right i'm going to put this luke away and i'm going to put this onto this luke and then we're going to get this belt over him. He's got double belting it now, but hey, it's covered up by, um, you know, this rope. 
And even though I can't clip the robe together because he has a thicker body that sort of just holds onto there, so it looks kind of nice. And because the helmet, which is actually quite nicely made, because this is a new piece, it's painted quite nicely, looks quite good, has a strap there. Um, because it's made out of soft material, oops. I'm gonna, I did this before, I tried it. Okay, so squeeze that down. Now the strap doesn't quite go all the way, but he can wear this helmet. He can wear the robe. And so Fig Arts plus Black Series new accessories is this is awesome. Like this is really good combination. This is great. Um, so we have Han and Leia and again inside the box and the poses and stuff it doesn't look half bad but um, let's just get them out I suppose. So both of these also have a lot of straps and ties on them and of course there's this baggie with the uh, jacket and stuff. And a lot of people were confused when they were looking at this first online because I was like oh does it come with jacket does it not come with jacket and, and yes both characters come with their jackets and you know they are removable and stuff. Let's take a look at Han Solo, a closer look anyway. And once again, oh, I, I guess this is like a really old release figure again. So the head sculpt here is slightly better than the Luke figure. It's sort of there, but it's still like kind of strange. This is sort of like halfway between Harrison Ford and Holiday Special Han Solo because his head is a bit longer, a bit stretched. Under certain angles, let's see, maybe this one's kind of like Han Solo. This one, but straight on. Ugh, like what is this? Like they've have they face printed Harrison Ford on this? Doesn't quite look like it. Like the hair looks quite good. The torso itself actually looks pretty decent. The soft jacket is pretty nice, except these paints are stuck and now it looks like he's got dirt mark on him. With uh, Endor Han, I guess that's fine, I guess. The belt actually looks pretty okay and the legs also look pretty decent as well. Comes with his tiny little signature blaster and this does hinder articulation just a little bit, this belt thing, because this thing's glued down, but otherwise it's it's okay. Whatever, articulation is decent enough. Uh, same as Luke, I guess. And the leg does look weird with uh, these knees. But whatever, <laughs> like the overall figure is actually okay in terms of proportions. It's just like frustrating that the head just doesn't look right at all. One last thing about this figure is I do like these actual working sort of gun holsters and straps. So I stay working and now doesn't want to unpin, unpin. And there we go. That's done it. Now Bandai doesn't have a Return of the Jedi Han Solo, but they have a New Hope one, which in all intents and purposes, it's just got different pants. But you see, it's still like the same belt and the same top and stuff. Uh, buttons slightly different, but yeah, uh, aside from <laughs> maybe may silly, golden hair which they have put a black wash on it so it looks a little better, better than the Luke hair. The face is just night and day. This looks so much more like Harrison Ford. It's just um, PS3 Harrison Ford I guess. Like it's not perfect of course but it looks so much closer. Both of them about the same height and he just looks again so much nicer. Way more details on the belt buckle and instead of working gun holster they've you know, got swappable pieces, got extra hands as well as you know falcon like driving glove hands and stuff and the overall look of him just looks so much nicer and this whole um this belt thing doesn't also hinder this articulation but doesn't seem to hinder it as much so anyway so once again the figure just looks way better and i remember this hansel not being too expensive at least over here i don't know what it is like overseas but in hong kong his price is not so bad so yeah so we got him and you might be thinking oh, okay well does the uh this time does the fabric soft goods help like this Han Solo look better well the fabric itself this is it's okay it's stitched quite nicely you got the whole pattern on it inside it's a bit rough but you're not really going to see that i do wish it was double layered though just so be a bit thicker more substantial right now um it's it's nice and soft but i do worry just a little bit if it would you know rip or tear or break or whatever so if you give him that jacket Unfortunately, it doesn't really hide my biggest problem, which is the face, because like I said, the overall body is actually pretty decent. So there's nothing to hide there. Well, I guess you, you know, say it's hiding the joints and stuff, so that's kind of cool. And the collars do help a bit with hiding the head, but yeah, it's not quite right. So once again, I'm going to try this like fabric piece Come on. on the fig arts. Now, while they are the same height, the fig arts is skinnier than the uh, Black Series Han Solo. So you this jacket will or maybe yeah the jacket seems just a little bit too big for him 
<laughs> he's, he's bought one size up so you might have to like crumble it just a little bit to uh, make it look right you can see the, like the, uh, the sleeves a little bit too long but uh, yeah overall this still looks pretty decent I, I know the pants are different but I guess if you put this on uh, under certain poses he's still gonna look like Return of the Jedi Han Solo so that's cool anyway just put him to the side for now and finally we move on to the first real highlight of this box you know you know so far i've been complaining a lot and like i guess half the figures here kind of suck but here we come to something which is a new mold and that is the leia figure once again we do not have a direct comparison because there's only a new hope layer from figure arts but here i will say that the black series actually has won this round because the black series First of all, the skin texture is way more natural. I don't know why, but the uh, Figarts one is way too yellow. Unless you've got liver problems. Both of them have really good face prints, but just because the skin color is slightly off with the Figarts, the Black Series just wins completely, like totally. <laughs> Not even, like even if they were the same price, I'd say that's the better head. So good sculpt, good print. This looks very much like Gary Fisher. This looks pretty amazing. So, like I said, so it's pretty much com compared, how, like in the same box you have, you know, early days Black Series versus what we have Black Series now. So you're like, oh, old Luke, uh, go away. And then we have this new layer, which looks really, 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 really good. So that's awesome. So we come down to this fabric piece. It is different from the Han Solo one. It's actually got like a furry thing underneath. So that's, again, that's better than the Han Solo thing. The, I uh, got the gun accessory there, kind of cool. And yeah, she looks quite, you know, like really decent. And just like the Luke figure, you can take this off, but this time you unbutton it from the front. So, um, the belt comes with a gun holster there, so that's fine. And then underneath, we still have a pretty decent layer figure. Now, I'm not much sure what's going on with that piece right there, like she's sitting in a bowl. But uh, she's got very good articulation, like a ball joint there, but it does like cut open, which uh, again, for the most part, it is going to be covered up this row, but that's gonna happen so but at least you can still take it off um wish this piece didn't look like that i just don't know why that's there <sighs> weird anyway uh yeah very good looking figure articulation like arm goes very high up got the rotation stair rotation stair hand on peck and swivel head goes up head goes down sideways side so i think there's a dumbbell joint in there maybe and the uh, leg goes far up does the splits the single knee joint which does look better than the older stuff but it can also still move quite far so that's Good enough, you know, I got the extra rotating joint there, rotating joint up here, and uh, peg and slight swivel on the feet. So yeah, this is a really good layer figure. Awesome. And if every black series that comes out is following the quality of this black series figure, just great. All right, for our final figure in the lot, we have the Ewok, yay, which is a really big highlight for me. This is like my main reason to pick this up. And by the way, this figure might be an exclusive to this box. So if you must have every single Ewok, you're going to have to get this box. At least that's the rumor that's going on so far, because the rumor is, you know, Han, Leia and Luke, those are going to get released. And of course, there is a bike in this set as well, which might be hard to get because the last time it was released was a long time ago. But uh, this might be the exclusive thing. But it only comes with one accessory, which... It's okay, I guess. It gets the job done. He is, you know, the one that steals the bike, so it doesn't do much other stuff uh, in the film. And also, unfortunately, this knife doesn't come out of this little pocket, which comes out in the uh, regular Ewok release with Tebow. So that's annoying. But what's not annoying is, oh, and also, uh, the soft material doesn't hinder articulation too much. You'd think it would, but no, it can still do a lot of movement. That's cool. And just like the Tebow figure, or the Tebow ones like this one, uh, you can actually remove the, this soft good. Well, kind of. It's a bit. It's, yep, there we go. I just decapitated an Ewok. This video is no longer kid friendly. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you can take that hood off, and, uh, and you know, you could take this off as well just by unplugging some joints, I guess. But yeah, so that means you can actually swap like accessories around with different Ewoks, and you can army build Ewoks like legitly. So I hope they get like Wicked, the Chief, and Baby Ewok, and maybe a few more. That's so awesome. And then maybe they'll start doing Ewoks, the movie Ewoks, and then Ewoks, the animated series. I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, a bunch of Ewoks. I like teddy bears. I like Ewoks. They're better than Pogs. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, we got the dumb porch on. I think it's a bit exposed there, but he 
all the Ewoks do seem to come with some sort of cloth headpiece, so that's fine. And they are they're pretty much the exact same mold as the regular Tipo one. So if you don't get this, but you like this color, I guess you could paint it yourself. Just, you know, the accessories are going to be a little bit different. And, you know, he's got a good articulation, you know, got the joint there and the hand joint and the stomach ball joint and the legs. He can almost do the splits and you got the knee joint that also rotates and the uh, peg and swivel for the feet. Like, I don't need figure arts for Ewoks now. I mean, figure arts did tease. I found that did tease a figure arts uh, wicked Ewoks tripping, uh, sitting on a tree stump and stuff. And it looked, you know, pretty awesome, but it's got this, like, the smoother look that figure arts tend to have. But for something like Ewoks, a rough look like this, just like how the Mandalorian kind of looks better than the smooth figure arts Mandalorian, this is good. And it's because a regular Ewok release is also way cheaper than figure arts and stuff. This is, yeah, this is great. If you like Ewoks, you can definitely pick up the other. Tebow Ewok and stuff, and if you can't pick this up, uh, then great. So if Bandai never releases Ewoks, I'm fine with that, because these are pretty spot on. I, I really like the Black Series Ewoks. These are excellent releases. Piece of the lot is the speeder bike. It comes with this transparent stand, which has sort of like a windy sort of flow effect to it. It's on a little ball peg, which gives it a lot of nice posability. That's pretty cool. Now, I don't have the figure arts bike, so I can't compare it with that, but I can compare it with my memory of the Bandai model kits one, which is the same size. And I will say this, the model kit is definitely more detailed. Everything's a bit sharper and molded, you know, just like a, like a higher resolution almost. And it has a lot more bits and pieces here and there, which for a model kit, that's fine. But I guess for a toy, people want something a bit more simple so they actually play around with it. So what we have here are a lot of bits that are made out of, you see, soft rubbery plastic and stuff. Even these pieces are made out of softish material same as here here and these leg bits even this like brown panel here, this is a softish plastic and doesn't look it so that's that's the thing one of the things soft plastic sometimes is they kind of look what well, they look like soft plastic and look out of place when next to sort of harder plastics but here they've done a good job and blended everything in quite nicely so i mean that that's cool. in terms of the toy thing like i can just drop this and it probably won't like more break but if this was the model kit i wouldn't do that i'd be like crap everything's gonna snap off like the handlebars are gonna snap off there's actually some extra details on the model kit as well as well on these handlebars and small little pegs down here that uh, would definitely snap and break if you're not careful so yeah in terms of a toy thing it gets the job done in terms of like aesthetics it's still pretty detailed it's painted nicely it looks good it, it doesn't look like that toyish maybe a little bit on the shiny side so you know definitely uh, spray a bit of like um matte-ish finish over this if you think it's too shiny. One thing with the uh, model kit version is instead of a stand going through the, the inside, it actually comes with it, like a little tree stump and has a little arm that plugs into one of these panels that you remove. So from one angle, you know, it looks like the, the bike is actually hovering because, you know, it's, there's only a tree behind it and and there's no actual transparent stand. But in terms of just a simple display and playability, this is good. This is good. So yeah, not quite as detailed, but in terms of a toy, it is great. Uh, one thing I do like that about this over the uh, Bandai model kit is that the Bandai model kit requires you to swap pieces out if you want to open these up and you know there's another separate piece for it being closed but here it's actually articulated there's so much less hassle doing that I don't know why the model kit had to have like two separate pieces for that but whatever but in, even inside here they painted it nicely the engines look quite nice so yeah good bike test a little awkward but managed to get uh, Leia holding on to the handle and actually the foot pegs plugged in okay eh, it's okay for the figure arts test, obviously there's pegs on the foot pedals, meaning that the figure arts can't actually put their foot on it, like sort of flat and smooth and stuff. But you can see here, Luke can actually sit okay on it. Again, he's on a slightly awkward pose because his legs can't go into a sitting position. I guess that's one point to the Black Series one. But otherwise, he can still go on okay, and for most photo shoots, it should look fine. So overall, look, the body is an older body, but you know, the articulation is fine. It's just a little bit on the skinny side, but mostly hidden. With the head sculpt, they really could have used many of the other head sculpts they've done that are more modern. Instead of using this one, it, they just got lazy here. And it's just, uh, aside from the new accessories, this is not really a good Luke Skywalker figure. Even in the Black Series itself, there have been better Lukes that have come along since then. So that's unfortunate. I do wonder if people would get the, like the Hoth, uh, pilot look and use that head on this one maybe because that one also wears a helmet so they can still wear this helmet if you needed to hmm the Han Solo is a bit better the body's good proportions the jacket is pretty nice but again the head just looks kind of off and that really sucks and they really again they could have used a newer Han Solo head the one from the Empire Strikes Back the Hoth uh, Han Solo 
that's not bad that actually was quite good and uh, from the last uh one of the last comic con specials i guess you know you get Han and leia in the little like snow corridor that they were also released later they could have used that that would have looked a lot better this head just not quite there the absolute new figures though the completely new figures leia and the ewok they are pretty amazing shame we don't have like you know an extra accessories for the ewok it's just that one step and the knife doesn't come out but otherwise it's still pretty excellent the layer is also pretty excellent with the weird hip thing aside from that she is great i want to find like a jedi robe or something and then give her a purple lightsaber or something and that's just i don't know that would be really cool the speeder bike is really really good you know in terms of a, of a toy at this scale uh, it's got just enough details to make it look nice and it doesn't go overboard to make it fragile it, it's pretty cool i like it a lot so overall this box is 50 50. if you can get this for the original price it does mean that the figures will be slightly cheaper than if you buy them individually but of course that's going to be really hard so good luck to that if you can't get it for that then i, I guess there'll be a slight scalping going on as mentioned earlier in this video other people online who are more in the know-how the black series and reasons and stuff have said that blue Khan and leia here will be reissued as a, like a return to jedi figure pack and stuff and it is the ewok here that's going to be the hard to get figure so once again if you like ewoks and this is a very good ewok figure uh good luck i guess so but at least after you've seen this video uh you won't have your hopes too high with some of the with half of the figures here and if I'm just going to compare them with the figure arts again, yes, the figure arts do cost more, but I have seen Han uh, at a lower price. And of course, the Luke Skywalker has been reissued. My Luke is a reissued Luke, and it's not as expensive as it was when it was just first released. So hopefully you can get that, because if you do want a Return of the Jedi Luke, the figure arts one is probably the best one. And the Han Solo figure arts is also way better, just you know, different color pants or whatever. So yes, hope you guys enjoyed this video and know what to expect in September. Good luck to everyone who tries to get it. There are some people who are selling it at a slightly bloated price in Hong Kong right now. Mind you, the Hong Kong price was bloated to begin with. So if you really can't wait or you're really worried that the price has got even more sky high eventually when, you know, after the Hapsburg Post thing sells out, then you might want to get one from Hong Kong. But uh, seriously, don't pay t way too much for it. I mean, double the price of figures is a bit crappy. Mm. Subscribe to Justin Gone Below and take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon and may the force be with you.